I think just being able to see people kind of go through and succeed, um, you know, learn so much and teach so much, you know, from industry sponsors, from all the help that we got just all across the board. And the other exciting thing was getting to work with Mike Miller on the licensing. It was painful as, well, as it was at times. Um, that's not something that you get to learn about in school. Nobody gives you a course on how do you deal with the FCC and how do you accomplish those issues. I was uh, simply impressed throughout by their professionalism and the fact that they didn't quit and they didn't whine and they didn't stop until they were successful. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> so, I mean, I think it didn't really sink in until, you know, we were actually launched and, you know, the rocket was actually heading up, you know, five, ten seconds later when it was actually, um, you know, heading off the earth. That was like the really the cool part. That was when it sunk in that, you know, we, we actually did something. We did this. For me, it actually sunk in before the rocket launch while we were standing there and I thought to myself like, oh wow, something we build is like all the way over there right now in that rocket, like just clicked in my head. Right. Yeah, and I love getting to see it sort of in the air when you could still see the rocket all together. That was a really big moment for me, but also when it disappeared and it was all gone. Yes. Um, and it had separated and the first stage had separated. I was so excited to see that happen successfully. Um, and then it's, it's headed to space and it's headed to the ISS.